Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is sub array sum equals k. So uh, we like few days back we did a similar problem which was uh, same concept like this problem so if you haven't done pro uh, that problem i will hi highly recommend that after doing this problem go and do that problem so uh, i'll put the link in the description problem is contiguous array so let's let's see this problem so in this we are given an array of integers and any integer k we have to return total number of contiguous sub arrays whose sum is equal to k so we have to find all the sub arrays which has some which have some k right so let's see this uh, test case so here we have to find all the sub arrays which has some k right so what we are doing what we do is this is one sub array see this is one sub array so sub array we have to find so in sub array we have conti continuous elements right so this is one sub array which has some what k which is 9 and if you see, um, this is also one sub array, 5, 1, 3, which has some 9. Which has some 9. And one more sub array is there, which is um, this one. See, 2 plus 3 plus 4, 9. So we have 3 sub arrays, so output will be 3. So we have to return the count of all the sub arrays. So see, this is a problem so one basic brute force approach is that we will be having two loops we'll be calculating sum of all sub arrays and uh, then we'll be maintaining the count so that is the, like purely brute force but uh, we will not do that over here because that will be uh, not o of n time so here if you see constraints uh, we have 10 raised to power 4 na so here optimal approach we have to use is o of n right optimally we should use o of n so uh, let's see how we can approach it so see brute force so we all can do like we have two nested loops we will have two nested loops and uh, we will be calculating sub sum of the sub array and if that sum is equal equal to k we will increment our count so count is total number of sub arrays so this is one approach right so see now whenever now whenever see whenever you have sub array you have to find sub arrays right uh, then you might be thinking that we can use sliding window approach see sliding window will not work here sliding window generally we use this approach sliding window approach when we have to find minimum sub array or maximum length sub array minimum length sub array that kind of questions we can use sliding window approach and two pointer also here two pointer will not work because we do not have to find pair or something like that so two pointer will also not work so when sub array there sub array is there and we need to find sum and we need to find uh, sub arrays or count of sub arrays then we can use the concept of prefix sum prefix sum what is this prefix sum let's see so this is just a like technical term Basically, oh, we'll see what does this actually mean. So, see. Um, let's take a generic example first. So, we have some elements. Like, these are some elements in the array. A, B, C, D, E, F. Like that, right? G, H. So, these are elements in an array. Now, suppose, suppose we have to find, uh, we have to find a sub array whose sum is K. We have to find that sub array, right? Now, let's say this sub array has some x. That is a plus b plus c is x. Right? And uh, over here, we get some sum. Let's say that is y. That is y. Right? So, a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g is y. Now, if we subtract y minus x, if we do this, and if we get k, it means that sum of this, this thing, that is sum of all these elements 
is k do you agree on this see if till here it's y sum and till here it's x if we subtract them and we get k means k is the sum of this that is k x k plus x will be what y k plus x is y y na so y is equal to k plus x so in this problem in this problem we have to find this sub array we have to find this sub array of sum k we have to find this so we can have this thing we can have this thing right we can have this we have this x so we will find the see we finding sum from the starting is simple and this is also sum from the starting till this element so that is simple right we can have x also we can have y also and if y minus x if y minus x that is you can say if uh, y minus x is k na so we know k what we can do is y minus k we can do and this should be equal to x right so if y minus k that this sum y minus k if this sum already occurred here like previously previously this sum occurred x so this means if we find x also we found y also that means this sum in between is k right so i hope you understood this if you do not understood don't worry we will dry run first and after that just come back to this portion and then you will better understand right so let's do one thing now let's dry run so you will understand how we will be doing see basically what we will be doing is we know k what is the what is k we know we will be calculating y and we will be finding whether x is there or not right so in this problem we will be using a hash map we will be using a hash map to store the sum so let's see how we'll do that uh, we have i over here and we'll take a sum variable we'll initialize it to 0 right now we will start traversing this array so first of all arr of i is what 4 sum becomes 4 sum becomes 4 and we will store this sum so this will be the key sum whatever the current sum is we will store that in hash map that we have encountered this sum as of now like till now we have encountered this sum and you can take value as anything you can take its index as value or you can take just simply one just simply write one we we are just we are just over here concerned with key right now see we go ahead so i now i is here so 4 plus 5 will be what 9 so this is say see this is we got a sub array with sum 9 so we will take a count variable and we will increment it so earlier it was 0 now it is 1 so one thing is that if sum is equal equal to k what we did we just incremented count count plus plus we did this is so simple condition right now let's go forward so i will now come here so it will be uh, and 5 also uh this 9 also this 9 is also sum na so sum we will add here every time whatever sum comes we will add it in the hash map now i goes here and this is 9 plus 1 10 right? 10 right so 10 we will add here right now we go here this is what 10 plus 3 13 right? 13 now guys see one thing this sum which we are do calculating over here na this is our y this is our y now what we can do is we if i do 13 minus y minus if i do y minus what we were thinking y minus k we were thinking na doing y minus k that is 13 minus 9 which is what 4 so this 4 is what this 4 is x na so if this x if this 4 has already occurred before see this 4 already occurred this was 4 means 13 is sum up to what 13 is sum up till here this is 13 and this is 4 this is 4 this is 13 and this is 4 that is this is your y and this is your x if y see 
we found four we found four in the hash map means if we subtract 9 that is k from this sum 13 we are getting a sum which was in the which are which we occur we which previously occurred right so this this between sum from 5 till 3 this is what 9 this is 9 because 9 plus 4 is 13 so 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 8 9 so see i hope you are getting what we are doing when we got sum here 13 we will be finding we will find whether this sum minus k if this value is in hash map yes it was there means this this thing between this sub array has some k it has some k so we will what we will do if this 4 is in the hash map means there is a sub array with some 9 and we will increment count so count will become 2 now count will become 2 now right just dry run once you will understand what we are doing over here now you can go back and previous to like if you didn't understood previous thing you can go back else we can continue so see now sum is 13 right now we go uh, in 13 also just add it in the hash map 13 also we need to add here now we go ahead so we now 13 plus 2 is what 15 again check 15 minus 9 is equal to what 6 is 6 in the hash map no means there is no sub array with 6 sum there is no uh, so we cannot uh, and there is a sub array with 15 sum but this 6 one is not there so between this this thing is not 9 so we did not find any sub array right so again what we will do is we will go forward here we go ahead so 15 plus 3 is what 18 and also 15 we will store here 15 we will store here and now 18 so 18 minus 9 18 minus 9 is what 9 and see we have 9 in the hash map that is till here see till here sum is 18 and this thing this thing was what 9 so between this this thing 3 plus 4 6 6 plus 3 9 so this is a sub array this thing is a sub array which has some 9 so we will increment count right so we will increment count count will become 3 now we'll go ahead so i will go here and also 18 we will add now i is what 6 uh, like ar of i is what 4 so 18 plus 4 is 22 so now we will see whether 22 minus k which is 9 is there in hash map or not so 22 minus 9 will be uh, will be uh, 13 right it will be I think 13 yeah so we will see whether 13 is there in the hash map so till now till now till here see from here to here sum is 22 and we are checking whether 13 is there in the hash map or previously occurred sum 13 is there or not 13 is there 13 is what from uh, 9 10 13 from yeah like from here to here this is 13 so means this this between this this thing will be 9 because 13 plus 9 is what 22 so this sub array is of sum 9 so we will again get a sub array we'll increment it and count is 4 so there are 4 sub arrays here I thought there were 3 so we have 4 sub arrays so I hope you understood what we are doing here so just quickly let's see the algorithm what we are doing so first of all what we did we took sum is equal to 0 we iterated traverse the array and we were calculating sum so sum is what sum is equal to arr of i plus equal to arr of i if the sum is uh, and also we have taken count as 0 so if sum is equal equal to k which was earlier coming like this condition here what happened uh, when we are starting so 4 plus 5 was 9 so sum equal to 9 na? sum was equal to k so count incremented we count, incremented the count so here what will happen uh, we will increment count in this case count plus plus right and if the sum minus k is in hash map is it if it's in hash map means we got a sub array so count plus plus 
and we will add the sum in the hash map in the map just add the sum right so let's see the code for this i hope you understood the approach so see what we are doing over here is we have uh we have taken a map right we have taken a map and we have count and we have sum so we are going uh, we are traversing the array and we are uh, storing sum and if sum is equal to k we increment the count and then we are finding then we are finding this sum in the hash map in the map in the unordered map so if the sum is present we will get its count like there could be multiple that na like see there could be multiple times 13 occurring so if there are multiple times let's say over here 13 is like two times so when we are searching here 13 so we will get two sub arrays if 13 is occurring two times so we will getting two sub arrays so we will we will have that that much all right and uh, after that what we will be doing is we will be uh if if this see if this is not uh, sum is not present in the map so we will uh, if we found the sum so we will increment its count will will if there are multiple like if two times 13 is there so we will increment its count otherwise we'll add it we'll make a entry as one because we occurred like that sum occurred one time if that occur if that sum is occurring again so we will increment its count right so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity c o of n we are traversing the array this find will be uh, this since this is unordered map so find will be o of 1 time complexity average and uh, space we are using a hash map so it will be o of n time complexity and space complex so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video